Hi there, I am back and in this video I am going to show you how to work the inner border of the surfing shawl. Now uh, in this border uh, we have incorporated beads and those beads are inserted in a unique way. Now this is the first time I use this method to insert beads but it is it is possible that this method and this bead placement can pop up in future of my designs. I am back to my sample in here to begin showing how to work the inner border first. You'll notice I have already worked almost all of it and I've left a couple of repeats to show you how to work this. Now the, the pattern repeat is seven stitches for this border and that repeat starts with a knit one and you transfer the stitch you just knitted from the left, from the right needle tip to the left needle tip and then you pass three stitches over it from that left needle. One, two and three. Once you do that you'll notice in here we have it looks like we have four stitches but in reality the the stitch that this first one in here is the first stitch that we knit and we put on the left needle and the other three are the ones that we took uh, pulled over or passed over. What's important in here is that we have these four loops. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to draw a loop in the center of this space, which means after the first two stitches or two loops. And we're going to pull the leading edge. The leading edge is the edge that's connected to the pre previous stitch. So when we pull on it and put it on the left needle tip, there is some tension in here. If we pull the wrong loop, let me show you here. So if we pull the lagging edge, you'll notice that, or a lagging lag, I should say, you'll notice that as I pull on it, it's actually pulling more yarn from my yarn ball, and I don't want that. What I want is the leading edge, the edge that's connected to the previous stitch. So I'm going to grab that edge in the center, put it on the left needle, and I bring my bead, and I'm going to insert my bead on that loop. Once I do this, I give it, I pull on it a bit to create some space, and I place it back on the left needle tip. Then I need to make a yarn over to and then go continue knitting but I need to anchor this yarn somewhere so to do that I'm going to wrap it on this stitch on the right needle so I'm transferring that stitch to my left needle tip bring my yarn in between the two needles and then I'm transferring back that stitch to the right needle tip you'll notice now my yarn is anchored in here so I can continue to knit with it and I work following my pattern I make a yarn over then I knit this stitch which I just placed on this left needle and I placed a bead on it so you knit that you make a yarn over and then you knit the next stitch which is also the stitch that you previously knit and place on the left needle but that's okay that's what you're supposed to do so you knit that one and you knit three more stitches and once you do that that brings you to the end of that repeat I'm going to show you how to make this uh, knitting continental uh, traditional style with holding the yarn with my right hand Again, I'm starting the repeat again. I knit the first stitch. 
I place it on the left needle tip. I pass three stitches over. And then I go to the center between these four stitches. I pull the leading edge of the that stitch that's elongated in here. Put that on the left needle tip. I bring my bead, insert it on that loop, put it back on the left needle tip. Then I need to anchor my yarn. I transfer the stitch from the right needle tip to the left, bring the yarn to the front from the back, transfer back that stitch to my right needle tip and my yarn is in the front and I need to make a yarn over but I simply leave it there knit the next stitch make a yarn over and knit four stitches but here I am getting to the end of my round and this is the last stitch You'll notice it looks like I have two stitches in here. But in essence, what I have is this last stitch, which I wrapped to anchor my first repeat. So here is the beginning of round marker. And when I began my first repeat, I had to anchor that, that yarn to continue knitting. So I anchored it on the last stitch of the previous round. But now I got to the last stitch, so what I need to do, I'm going to insert my needle under both the stitch, which is right here, and that wrap, which becomes a yarn over. I'm going to insert my needle under, under both of those, and I'm going to knit them together. And so, I want to make sure my marker is in the right spot. And so um, then I'm going to re release only the stitch because I need to keep that yarn over in place. So I release off the needle that last stitch, keep the yarn over in place, transfer the marker, and now I'm ready to work my next round. For my next round, my pattern says I need to knit through the back loop. So in essence, what we're doing in here on this round is every time we have a yarn over, we're knitting that yarn over through the back loop. So to begin with, my first yarn over, I knit that through the back loop. Then my pattern says to slip the stitch, and I slip that stitch purlwise, and I keep my yarn in the back. Then I get to my next yarn over, I knit that through the back loop and make sure your stitches are not tight because you do have that slipped stitch in here and that float and we don't want that float to be very tight and then you continue knitting you knit three stitches and you get to this stitch where we wrapped it but we also have a yarn over so what happens it's it's um, becomes a little bit confusing because this wrap and yarn over combination tends to want to come to the front and it appears that this is my my stitch while in reality it's not but all I have to do is just pull it to the left a little bit and I'm going to insert my needle under both that wrap slash yarn over and my stitch together and I'm not going to knit them together and I'm going to just release that stitch off the needle keep the yarn over in place and then knit that through the back loop slip that stitch and knit that yarn over through the back loop and let me switch hands show it one more time knit three stitches and I get to this stitch, make sure I know which is the stitch, which is the wrap. And in this case, you notice this is the wrap, this is the stitch. So you can see them very clearly when they are in front of you. 
and I'm inserting my needle under both the wrap and which is which is a um, also kind of a yarn over in here and the stitch I knit these together and I keep my thumb or my thumbnail holding that wrap slash yarn over and as I release that stitch I keep that in place so now it's ready to knit in the back loop through the back loop and slip this stitch knit the yarn over through the back loop and continue knitting 